Hey folks, uh, my name is Yuri Dipsky and I'm founder of Puma, a mobile web three browser. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, the talk will be short, but I'll cover three main things. Uh, one is why build a new browser. Two is demo of Handshake protocol and uh, some other features that are working today in Puma. And three uh, thoughts on the future of the browser as the conference title suggests. Um, so number one is, if you go to websites today, and especially on mobile, uh, most of them are pretty unusable due to complete proliferation of ads and basically like I'm bombarded by so many pop-ups and overflows that it's really hard to get to the content. And the main reason for that is that the main business model of the internet today is ads. And uh, that requires one, a lot of data collection on you. And two, uh, the experience is pretty obtrusive and we think uh, there's a much better way to uh, support content creators and app developers. Uh, and number two, there's been a lot of development in the space of payments, uh, both on the crypto and non-crypto side and uh, decentralized identity, decentralized naming services, uh, Handshake, including uh, ENS and some others, um, and storage, there's IPFS, SIA, and um, as the famous quote says, the future is already here. It's not uh, evenly distributed. And our goal with Puma is to help solve the first problem by distributing the technologies that are already available uh, and are amazing and working uh, and making the experience really nice and easy to use. So let's just jump in real quick to, to the demos. I'll share the screen uh, and um, let's see where we are today. Um, so number one, we started with, um, it's a mobile, by the way, Puma is a mobile app uh, available on both iOS and Android. Um, and we started with uh, micropayments and uh, once they found out about Interledger Protocol, which is an interoperable um, payments network uh, available on interledger.org. One of the applications of it is web modernization, which is a really simple and great uh, API, JavaScript API, which is very accessible uh, for monetizing your content. And if you're a developer, you'll be really excited. This is the this is the series of events you see when your browser has a wallet built in, as Puma does, and you have an account. With Coil, this is the stream of events that's coming to your server, and these are all um, packets of money that's being sent to you. Uh, and there's a few very interesting applications for that. Uh, number one is paywalls. Uh, when you're opening a site with a paywall, the paywall will unlock automatically for you as soon as it starts receiving payments. Um, there's games that are, um, the new one just came out the other day uh, called Bodyguard, which is kind of like in line with uh, fighting COVID. Um, and you can see like how much money you're actually donating to or like paying for for the game while you're playing it. And you can choose uh, which uh, sort of like organization receives the payments in this particular case. It's all up to the developer of the game to choose uh, how the money is spent. Um, and I think it's really awesome to give back control to, to the developers of how they wanna uh, be paid. Uh, and this is a fun game, which is, you know, don't spend too much time, but uh, check it out when you have a moment, there's Flood Escape. Um, Jeremy had just wrote an amazing blog post on uh, remote work and other things. And it's also available behind a paywall. And when you're using Puma, you're not gonna even see the paywall most of the time if your internet is fast enough. I would just think it's a really good experience of, of browsing the web compared to the existing options. And then the main uh, kind of topic that I'd like to cover today is Handshake Protocol and um, how it works in Puma. And first of all, the main website for Handshake is handshake.org. Uh, it's a decentralized naming and certificate authority. Um, if you look at the domain handshake.org, uh, the .org part is called the top level domain. And today it's controlled by one organization called ICANN. Um, and it's a centralized organization. Um, and the goal with uh, Handshake as a protocol is to give control to the community. Uh, one is to how names are being distributed and controlled and two on the security and certificate issuance, there's a lot of technical limitations that I can, uh, cannot solve. And so fun, fun there. Um, but yeah, there's a company uh, called Namebase that uh, Tishan is running and uh, they are one of the biggest probably forces in, in getting uh, Handshake adopted uh, by more people. And they have amazing resources in the learning center and the community. So uh, please check it out. Um, but as you notice at the top, that's the whole domain for name base. It's just like name base slash slash. And this particular site is an example of a D-Link, which is like a link tree alternative where 
the page is hosted on Saya and the address is through Handshake. And when well, using Puma, you don't even need to add anything to the domain name. That's going to be a result, which is really cool. Another example is well, there's a few community members who had their names as the top level domain. Uh, Nicole is very active in the community and she's awesome. Uh, Tishan's site is just Tishan. Um, and he started this fun thing, uh, which reminiscent of the early internet days where he just like, you know, has a link, links to some of the friends who also use Handshake. And it's like Nancy and Casey and Casey has her uh, website on just Casey. And uh, we think there's a lot of creativity to be unleashed there. Uh, one of the probably most fun examples of uh, handshake domain use today is um, the Flamingo Handshake, which is literally two emojis, Flamingo and Handshake. Um, and they're also running some auctions for short um, domain names. If you appreciate NFTs and chess, there's a NFT.pawn, which is like a super fun domain name or just uh, this face emoji. Uh, a while back, I bought uh, one of my favorite uh, emojis, which is like a face palm. Um, slash uh, i don't think it redirects today yeah but um I'll, I'll should, i should set up that redirect soon um and then one of the other domain uh, resolution options is ens uh you can read up more uh, about ens on ens.domains um, there's also a great post on comparing handshake uh, with ens on namer news uh, which i'll try to post a link uh, in the comments uh, soon uh, you can read up on it. An example of a uh, ENS domain is uh, almanet.eth. Uh, it won't result in Safari or Chrome, but if you're using uh, Puma or other extensions, yeah, you'll be able to get there. I think it's pretty awesome to see um, that support. And uh, one last thing I wanted to demo. Oh, I think that's, I guess that's, that's about it for the demos. Um, as far as the future of browsers goes, um, one is we're actively hiring. If you want to help us build a desktop version of the app, uh, Ethereum wallet in the browser and, and a lot of other features, please reach out. We'd love to talk to you. Um, high level, there's, um, there's a few angles. One is um, payments and decentralized protocols. We'd love to support most of them and uh, hiring for all the roles to help build integrations there. Um, and two is privacy. There's, a, there's an interesting new search engine, which we uh, will be announcing partnership soon. Um, but there's a very strong competitor emerging to Google uh, and the search engine is private uh, and ad free. And we think the future of the internet is, uh, there, there, there's an opportunity for us to build uh, a future of the internet that doesn't rely on ads. Uh, and that is much more focused on peer to peer transfer of value and support of creators, game developers and app developers. And our goal is to make it as easy and seamless as possible. Uh, and we, uh, we hope you join us on this journey. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Uh, have a good one.